Well, it has finally happened. Johnny Depp has lost yet another job. Thanks to the lies and the defamation by Amber Heard and The Sun. I'm not going to go into this article. I'm going to go from Johnny's words alone. Or Johnny's words themselves on his Facebook page. But this was basically just to open the video. He has lost just another job. He's been quote unquote asked to leave the uh, Fantastic Beasts films, uh, film set and film franchise. This was after he lost the libel case he took out against the Sun and Amber Heard after they called him a quote unquote wife beater. Now, I know I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this, but as Sharon Osbourne, someone who I disagree with on so much, says it takes two to tango. Everyone's focusing on Johnny doing the quote unquote beating, yet seem to be forgetting that Amber Heard herself is on video and on audio admitting to attacking Johnny Depp. Now, why does everyone seem to see, seem to forget that part? They sit there defending her, saying, oh, she's been through enough, she should be left alone, yet... Why should she be left alone? Or, and not, well, not should, why should be left alone, but why should she be considered the innocent party when we have all this evidence? He had CCTV videos, images, court, uh, not court records, doctor's records, a litany of witnesses, audio tapes where she said that she beat him and she even admitted under oath that she attacked him, hit him with doors, this, that and the other. And yet, everyone seems to forget that those things exist. Now, to those of you who have come over to this channel from when Omegan featured me the other day when he covered this, I will put in my description down below the whole playlist of these of all the evidence because I sat there and I even to the point where I lost subscribers because I was covering this so much that people were so sick and tired of the subject but I had to I felt the need to sit there and go through every single piece of evidence that she tried to claim and either debunk it or to look at all the wider evidence available and my takeaway was that she was the one who was abusing him. Now, if he had been abusing her, you can bet your ass I would say that he was abusing her. But I can't find that anywhere. I can't find any admissions from him that he was beating her. In fact, in one of the audio tapes where she admitted to beating him, she taunted him and goaded him into because he kept walking away from her. And that's what he said. It's because I don't want... I don't want things to turn violent. I don't want to be that person. And yet, she kept saying that, she, uh, and kept the goading him because he was trying to come out as a domestic violence victim. And she, do you know what she said? No one's going to believe you because you're a man. And I hate to say this, but she was right. No one believes him. Everyone believes her, despite all the evidence against her. She got up on that stage, and she cried, and because a woman cried, oh, poor woman. Anyway, this is just to open the video and my monologue, but here we have the actual statement from Johnny Depp himself. So it goes, in light of recent events, I would like to make the following short statement. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who has given me with their support and loyalty. It's been my pleasure, Johnny and I'll continue to fight for you, and I'll continue to make videos regardless of how many subscribers I lose, because I feel it is the right thing to do. Now, as I said, I, I barely make any money off of these videos, because YouTube feels the need to demonetize them the moment they go up, because it's talking about a controversial subject. No kidding, in fact, let me pause the video right here, and I'll go and get their last decision on the last video I made on the subject. Here we have the decision of them deciding to demonetize the video. Obviously, as you can see right here, 
this is the Johnny Depp that he loses his libel case. So you go to Add Suitability, you click Feedback, and you'll come back exactly what it is. Where we disagreed, sensitive issues, recent events dealing with war, death, or tragedy. Well, this the, that video contained none of those things, but this is how they discovered. I selected none because I honestly thought my video com uh, coincided with their bit uh, fair use for monetization. But this is YouTube selections, discussions of modern acts of terror, no, events resulting in catastrophic loss of human life, nope, or controversial social issues. Now, you have to ask yourself, why would a man, or why would me doing a video pointing out that a man was the actual victim and he's been wronged, a controversial, Im a controversial subject? Because... As I've been seen online, it seems to be the most popular, uh, most popular story. Of course, you'll have the Amber Heard stands who will believe her no matter what. You, as you do with all women, but it's well, it's interesting to say the least. It goes on to say, "I've been humbled and moved by your many messages of love and concern, particularly over the last few days." I've not got in contact with him because I have not. I don't have social media. I deleted all of that to get on with my life and just leave it all in the past. But as he goes on to say, secondly, I wish to let you know that I have been asked to resign by Warner Brothers from my role as Gindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, and I have respected and agreed to that request. They're basically sacking him. But they don't want it to be known publicly that they're sacking him, so they've asked him to resign rather than it go on record that they're dropping him from the franchise. Now, Amber Heard will be going back for reshoots for Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League. I, As much as I really, really dislike that woman, and we'll probably just fast forward the parts of her, I will be watching that film and re-watching those those epic quote unquote episodes of the miniseries because I, I don't think she's going to be in it that much but still going to be hard to watch especially because they've basically got rid of a man and kept the woman who abused him if everything was all fair as it should be if one was to lose the job so should the other it's only fair you either keep both because she's admitted on tape that she abused him or you get rid of both because as i said she admitted on tape that she abused him you can't keep one and drop the other or ask the other to leave but he has officially lost yet another role because of amber heard and she's she's get off scot free i mean you've got domestic violence charities here in the uk welcoming the decision and saying it's a a win for domestic violence victims. How? How is a domestic violence victim coming out and being called a wife beater despite all the evidence? And as I said, I will list all the evidence down below so you guys can go see for yourself just how extensive the evidence against her is, whereas there's none for against him. How is it a win for victims? I'll because we're in the UK, and as the UK states, or actually UK domestic violence charities state, domestic violence is a thing done to women by men. That's why they made no statements coming out in support of Johnny Depp when he said he was the victim. No, they've only come out in support of the woman. But anyway... Finally, I wish to say this. The surreal judgment of the court in the UK will not change my fight to tell the truth, and I confirm that I plan to appeal. My resolve remains strong, and I intend to prove that the allegations against me are false. My life and career will not be defined by this moment in time. Thank you for reading. Sincerely, Johnny Depp. I think it's brilliant that he plans to appeal. He so should, because it was the wrong decision. They defamed him. They've cost him untold amounts of jobs. Even so much as their their decision to say that he is indeed a wife beater 
has lost him yet another job, another role he loved to do. And yet she keeps all of her jobs. It's it's disgusting. But as we go on to this, Johnny Depp fans launched Twitter war on Amber Heard saying, I hope you burn in hell after parts of the Caribbean star lost his high court libel battle. Don't do this, folks. Please, as much as she deserves the dislike and dislike against her, don't do this. It just gives her ammunition and it just gives people the ammunition to say that Johnny Depp is exactly who they claim he is. Don't do this. You can sit there and boycott her films and you can sit there and dislike her as much as, as, much as you want, as I plan to. Don't attack her. It just makes her, it just, as I said, it just gives her the ammunition to say that she's been right this whole time when she's not been. Just, just don't do this. Please, just, I know it's disgusting, but don't wish someone dead. I know they've been doing, I know her, uh, I know her fans have been doing the same to Johnny. But here's the thing, we're better than them. We have the truth on our side, and we have all the evidence on our side. Don't be like them. Be better. We are better than that, and we're stronger than they are, and we have more resolve than they are. Just leave her alone, and she'll bury herself. That's all I'll say. Anyway, let me know what you think about his plan to appeal the decision in the comment section down below. I'll try to get to as many as I possibly can, but please note that my uh, my schedule isn't as free as it used to be. Thing I do things constantly now, so that's why this video is actually late, because by the time I got, something came up yesterday, and by the time I got home, it was like quarter past four in the morning, and I was just so shattered, I went straight to bed. So obviously, I do apologise that the video is a bit late. But obviously, I just could not keep my eyes open, and it won't fair. It wouldn't be fair for me to sit there and record a video for you guys while I'm shattered, because it's not going to give you the best representation of me. It's not going to give you the the uh, commentary that you deserve, and it's not going to give you the actual oomph in my videos that you guys come to or have come to know, and I hope love. So obviously, as I said. Let me know about your. Uh, let me know about. Let me know your thoughts about him appealing in the description and uh, in the comment section down below, and I'll get to as many as I can. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.